Welcome back to Omega Language Academy. We are learning German A1, that is German for beginners. And this is session 10. Earlier we had 9 and we discussed various things. Remember, if you need any help or if you want to contact us for classes or anything, please use this email ID or this number. I'll just leave this in the description as well so that it gets easier for you. Okay. Remember, in this session, we're going to talk about bestimter article. Now, what is this bestimter article? It means definite article in English. In English, we have just one definite article. That is the, right? We don't have article based on genders. So sun, moon has no genders. They are just the, the sun, the moon. In German, it doesn't work like that. There are many articles in German. And we're going to study the basic four kinds today. Because this is your A1 and initial A1, we're going to only study four. In the coming session, we're going to keep adding four more, right? So let's begin then. Here we have formed a table for your understanding. This is genera, that is gender. And this is best into article. These articles are according to genders. Everything is assigned a gender. For example, a table has a gender, uh, a table, a chair has a gender, boy, girl, definitely they have a gender, but uh, other things in uh, many languages have genders. So let's see them. The first one is manlich. Manlich is the German word for masculine. So in that case, it's called der. You know, it's called der. Weiblich is feminine. It's called the. For anything feminine, they add the. So in English, we say the woman and the man for same. In German, we don't do that. So the word for German for man is man. So their man and Frau is the woman. So the Frau. Okay. Now then comes Zestlich. Zestlich is actually nothing but neutral. Now you might be knowing this word from the brand. Das Auto, Volkswagen Das Auto, because auto, that means car, uh, it's neutral. That's why they say Das Auto, the car. Okay, so you already know this, but uh, you didn't know why they add this Das. Now you do. Okay, finally, we have plural, that is anything which is plural. It doesn't matter if it is masculine thing, may form plural or Neutral or feminine doesn't matter. If it is plural, then we always use the. So let's revise. There, the, das, the. See, form this table and please keep a picture of this near to your bed or near to your bathroom, wherever you tr uh, go more or where you work on your table. So, so that you remember in a tone. There, the, das, the. Okay, I hope it is clear. Great. So let's see some words so that you understand. There, which is for masculine. Remember, masculine, male things. There, coolie. There, coolie. Coolie means pen. So the pen is masculine. The pen, there, coolie. There, brooder. That is the brother. So brother is definitely male. That's why there, brooder. Now there's one thing that you might be suffering if you already know this how to remember these that if it is plural or i mean if it is masculine or uh, feminine the pro problem with this is you cannot you cannot remember everything yes there are some clues based on the endings but not definitely uh, the set guide 70 to 80 percent you can figure out from the endings and some beginning that is suffix and prefix but still you need to practice you know, in many languages, we speak the language. We don't even realize that we have gender in our language. But based on the sentence, you realize, oh, this this is uh, masculine. This is feminine. Okay. So this is their, brood, their brooder. The brother is masculine. Their coolie, the pen is masculine. Next one. The, which is for feminine. The. The Frau, that is the woman. The Frau is the woman. Okay. The Tasha. Tasha is the bag. Bag is masculine, a uh, feminine, remember. The Tasha. It's kind of a rule that 70 to 80% of the word which N and E are considered feminine. So the Tasha is the bag is feminine. We add D to that, right? Okay, next one. Das, that is neutral, right? So we have Das Buch, 
that is the book. Das Buch, very close to the word book, is called is ne uh, neutral and we call it Das Buch. So the next one we have Das Mädchen. Das Mädchen means the girl. Now this is interesting, right? Girl should be feminine for sure, right? You can see from the gender, like we said for the bruder, that is the brother, should be masculine. But here, the problem with this is, that's how the language is formed. Anything that ends in C-H-E-N is considered neutral. And that's why the word for German, which is Mädchen, is considered neutral. Don't get confused because this is a girl, it should be feminine. No, in this case it's not. Yes, the word for woman is feminine, die Frau. But here it's considered neutral, das Mädchen, okay? Now, the which is for plural as well, we're gonna see some plural words. Remember Kuli? If you don't remember, go back to the lecture. It's the pen, remember Kuli? But here we have pens, Kulis. It's not like you add S, everything becomes plural in German. You have various ways. For example, here, if you look, Buch, B-U-C-H earlier, was Buch. But here it becomes Bücher. Instead of book, it becomes Bücher, that is the books. So you add umlaut and you, Bücher, book becomes Bücher. Like I said earlier, it is really difficult to remember the genders as they are based on, um, you know, anything. There's no rule. So you have to remember them. I'll post a video regarding tips and tricks how to remember them, 70 to 80% of them. But best thing is to practice keep forming sentences in sentence if it is there you know this is masculine in the sentence if it is thus it's neutral or the it's feminine okay so better you remember uh, the sentence rather than the gender in my opinion you know in long term i can tell you remembering each word was very difficult remembering the sentences was easy because i was speaking to someone and if i was wrong somebody corrected me that's how i got my german done okay you try that the same way. And if you have a new way, definitely try that way, no problem. Uh, this was session 10, and uh, thank you for listening. If you have any doubt, you know where to contact us, right? Please do that. It'll be a great help for us as well if uh, we could solve your problem because we will know what to do next, okay? Have a nice time. Bye-bye.